Hi there, my name is Karen Green. I am a personal trainer based in Melbourne, Australia. I started my career off over two decades ago as an aqua aerobic instructor. And today I'm going to take you through my top five moves for aqua aerobics to get you started in the pool, to give you something different to do, so a different way to challenge your body. I hope that you enjoy it. Make sure that you listen to your body if anything doesn't feel right. Make sure that you stop if you need to take breaks. Um, but hopefully this will give you some ideas of some fun, different ways to move your body and challenge your muscles and get your heart rate up in the pool. Here we go. Running in the pool. So we're gonna run on the spot for this one and I want you to try to lift your knees up as high as you can. And I need you to swing your arms through the water as well so that you get lots of motion of that water moving and gushing through the water as you run. So keep running, keep lifting those knees up and try to land flat footed as well. Not just on the balls of your feet, but actually landing on your heels, which is going to help you to stretch out your calves. So if you're on the balls of your feet, you can see the calves are not gonna stretch out. So make sure that you are lifting your body up nice and high, lifting up those knees and landing heels down, chest is up and engaging your core throughout all the moves. Cross country ski is one of my favorites. It enables you to stand up nice and tall and really engage your core. We've got the opposite arm to leg and we're going to jump and slice, jump and slice. So trying to speed up that motion and you're really getting those arms working through the water. I'm slicing my hands through the water here as you can see and we're just scissoring the legs. So this is called the cross country ski. Tuck jumps is where you're going to bring your feet hip width apart or closer together and we're going to lift those knees up toward the chest and we're going to give it a little hug. So jump and hug. So as you work through the water, lifting those knees up, you're gonna feel a splash of water underneath your chin. Try to lift those knees up as high as you can. And just demonstrating here, lifting up and down, up and down. You can slow it down a little bit if you like and making sure that you get those knees up really, really high. The side push is a fantastic way to get your heart rate up and really changing your plane of motion. We're gonna jump onto one leg and push the water, jump onto the other leg and push the water from side to side. Try to turn your body 180 degrees. Try to feel that momentum as you swing your body and turn looking from side to side. The leg comes up and you are stabilizing on one leg as you push out with the arms and with the legs. So this is gonna be a great way to get your heart rate up uh, and to challenge your balance and coordination as well. With the pendulum, we're going to swing our legs from side to side. This is a great one for our hips and our thighs, the adductors and abductors. So we're going to take the arms across the body, swing and push through the water as we swing our legs. Great one for balance again. Your abs are gonna be working hard and you need to take some deep breaths. It's actually gonna be quite slow because you're gonna feel that resistance of the water as you use your arms. So really focus here on balance again, deep breaths, lots of oxygen in and really pushing hard through the water so you feel it in your arms and in your legs.